I would suck a dick to get meatloaf on this show. And they never did. Patricia Quinn. These are all like Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah, Matt Smith. Uh, this is a sci-fi, I think. Norman Reedus. Carrie Payton. That's Walking Dead. Finn Wolfhard is coming. A couple of the kids on Stranger Things. Not you. The reason I'm not using Ultra Balls is because I'm challenging myself to uh, capture all the Shadow Pokemon in the game with just regular Pokeballs. Kathleen Turner. Uh. Heh. <laughs> Lena Headley. Or Lena Hetty. Wait, did I spell that wrong? Didn't it have an L in the name? Oh no, I'm wrong. I thought it was called Lena Headley. That's a uh, Queen Cersei of Game of Thrones. Apparently, she's not coming because of a schedule change. Sadly, and from according from other people, that's been happening for like a few years from now, or a few years in a row. At least Joffrey made it last year. Yeah, King Joffrey. The king we really needed. <laughs> Fuck, I, I was thinking about it getting caught and it didn't work. John Barrowman. Bruce Campbell. Let's see. Uh, how to build an R2 droid on a budget. Sadly, uh, Charles Martinet is not coming back. He was really awesome last year. I don't think he ever did a voice thing. Experience Jabba the Hutt's Palace. Doctor Who themed escape room. Back to the Future time machine. And steampunks. Yeah, the DeLorean is always there at Fan Expo. I don't know if I ever got a picture of it yet. Or, like, picture of me in it. Now uh, you got some horror here. Anime. Sean Chamel, Chris Sabat, Todd Hapicorn. Colin Clinkenbeard, Amanda Miller. You got Pokemon Go info panels. The latest news on game updates and discussion about the past, present, and future of Pokemon Go. That's gonna be a nightmare. Because 80% of people call it dead game. Because it didn't live up to their expectations on release day. That's probably c because it would be harder to program, or it would be it would take even longer to program. You got your fashion show, manga library. I should collect manga, or like get some manga books. And got your cosplay special guests. I'm surprised that uh, Doom Kitty is not coming this year. Or actually, are these? Yeah, these are cosplays. I don't think Doom Kitty is coming this year. Ah, here we go. Voice actors. You have Justin Roiland from Rick and Morty. <laughs> That's gonna be cool. You got Kathleen Turner as Jessica Rabbit. Hmm. I didn't even think, didn't even remember what the voice of Jessica Rabbit was. Uh, Paige O'Hara and Robbie Benson from the original, the original uh, Disney's Beauty and the Beast. 
Finally. After all that storytelling about the Fan Expo pamphlet, I finally catch it. I'm so glad that didn't go out on the air. Oh, don't worry. There's millions of people to see on Twitch. <laughs> or in this case, two. <laughs> two fans, me, and a Vivbot. Oh no, Lady Venus was knocked down. Run away! How dare you! How can I get bested by a mere boy? Remember this, I'll get you back for this. Oh, she just... She just dipped like a lightning bolt. Huh. That's finally over. Alright, TM45. Which one was that? Attract. Oh, that, that would have been so helpful, actually, in the battle. Just to get infatuated and paralyzed? Oh, man. Alright. Ian File F. Final report. Some interesting discoveries were made about the purification process. There are several ways to cause the opening of the heart's door, and the resulting effects appear to differ with the original nature of the Pokémon. Also, as the purification process advances, the Shadow Pokémon regains its moves and its original nature. When the purification process is complete, the Pokémon regains all the experience points it has accumulated, perhaps even enough to level up. By effectively using these features, it may be possible to create even more powerful Shadow Pokémon. <laughs> was that really a... Was that really a way to end that note as a final report? Could have just said like, goodbye or something like that. Or maybe there's more Ian files out there that we're not aware of. Okay, so... I have gone through four hours of recording, but like, the uh, the stream was like split in two because for some reason the OBS decided to disconnect itself halfway through. So maybe I should probably stop it there pretty soon, or maybe I should uh, ugh. maybe I should check out the the under Coliseum first. I still have yet to check out the, uh, the Fennec Coliseum. I've been, I've been dying to go see it. See what underleveled Pokemon there are. But yeah, those, those Shadow Pokemon I had were a really good help. At least. So I think, yeah, Skiploom is ready. And, uh... We'll get Yanma in here. Perfect. So yeah, we'll we'll check out the under Coliseum and we'll stop it there. Still, that unfollow that I got from Steve Chu, like that was so uncalled for of him. Oh wait. Oh, it's not... But Lady Venus is escaping. Oh, come on. Alright, fine. We'll go to Fennec Coliseum then. Oh, wait. Can I even check the PC? In oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> fine. But little do you know that Venus is escaping as we speak. As we're going to another town. Because the plot needs to advance as we get down there even further. Alright. So from what I remember, Shadow Pokemon aren't allowed in this certain Coliseum. Unfortunately. So we're going to have to sit these people out. Whoops. Oh, the joy- the joys of not having a stylus for the PC. 3DS was great for Pokemon. Oh, they- 
Would they even do like GameCube imports or ports for the 3DS? I know it's like 720 rendered like 1080 graphics, but like that'd be that'd be so cool. Just have like Pokemon XD and Colosseum for the 3DS. All right. Now here I thought like you pick e you pick either door to like fig you pick either door to enter the Colosseum and I thought like both these doors represented like a different challenge. So I thought like either like the left door is single battles, the right door is double battles or something like that like the left door is easier challenges, the right door is hard challenges. It, it was a kid thing back then. But no, as I was saying from that last battle, Pe Paige O'Hara and Robbie Benson from Disney's Beauty and the Beast are coming. And it has been noticed that most of the original voice actors for the Disney princesses are making a comeback for the new Wreck-It Ralph that's coming. To rep- like, to spend time with Vanellope. Which is- which is actually the most awesome thing to do besides, like, video game characters. We're gonna see, like, 3D models of, like, Ariel, and Mulan, and Pocahontas. <laughs> and even the generic- generic. And even the overused ones like Anna and Elsa and Rapunzel. Oh, and Merida as well. A Pixar princess. Uh, Nolan North, that's Nathan Drake, and Troy Baker from The Last of Us. I love The Last of Us. Like That sequel trailer looked so good. Like, oh, I can't wait. Jennifer Hale from Mass Effect, Charlotte Charlay Chung, who is looks like it's the voice of Diva from Overwatch. Huh, I didn't even notice. And David Hayter's coming back. Solid Snake. Wonder if they're gonna do a script reading. Oh yeah, they are. Oh my god, they're gonna do the Princess Bride this year. Oh my god, yes. They're gonna do the Princess Bride! They're gonna have Troy, Jennifer, David, Nolan North, and James Arnold Taylor to do the script. Oh my fucking god. That's awesome. The Princess Bride is like one of the best movies ever. I I hope they do the marriage part. Where it's like marriage is what brings us together. Today. Inconceivable. Ugh. Oh my god. Cyanide and happiness. Brental floss is coming back. After like what? Another like a year absence. His game is actually coming. His game actually came out for the Switch. It was like uh, take a guess or something. It's like a uh, quiplash or something. The Sean Ward show, the Hollywood show. These are internet celebrities, actually. Wait, what? There's an angry video game nerd festival. Can't give too much away on this one, but AVGN Festival promises all the fun of the YouTube videos and films in a live setting which will also include singing, pranks, prizes, screenings, and a Price is Right style AVGN game show with surprises for all. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to guess that James Rolfe is coming. <laughs> I have seen the nostalgia critic at Con Bravo. Now might be my chance to see James Rolfe now. And then you have your gaming guests, uh... 
<laughs> Don't know who all these are. Maybe, hopefully, they have an another Nintendo booth like they did with uh, Super Mario Maker and Star Fox Zero that one year. And what's sad about Fan Expo is that, like, they don't do arcade, like, panels or something. Like Con Bravo does. All they do is showcase the new games. But to be fair, though, Fan Expo is, like, one of the biggest expos in Canada. And, like... Sadly enough, probably most of the people there wouldn't want to see retro games. <laughs> But there was this one time at Fan Expo where, like, I just kept going to this one, like, shop in the marketplace. And it had, it had like, a TV going with, like, a 64 or a Super Nintendo. And I just played it almost all day whenever I didn't have any, like, panels to go to. Also, my camp! Oh, my God. Such a cutie. Mudkip is such adorable, such an adorable cutie. T too bad it's gonna be killed. No, Mudkip. <sighs> yeah, th this is the finals. We're we're gonna have to stop it here somewhere. Cacnea. Frelagator. But yeah, um, I think this year is going to be just as good as usual. I know, I know, I'm going to have my friend Sam over. You probably, I know they didn't do a lot of videos, but like they're they were known as like two best friends play. It seemed like a super best friends knockoff, but like they would play like. WWE and uh, <laughs> what else do they play? Um, like PlayStation games and Xbox games. I know they also played the Power Rangers game I wanted to do. Anyways, congratulations, I'm a champion. Next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we're gonna chase down Lady Venus and probably fuck her. I mean, kill her. See you guys then.